In the last episode, we said goodbye to our Thor Rise 18T and said hello to our new Talaro 20A. While we absolutely loved our Thor Rise and made so many memories with it, we realized our needs had changed and it was time for an upgrade. In today's episode, we take our new van on its first journey. Subscribe for new videos every Sunday. In today's video, we are gonna take the van on its first trip. We've decided to drive about an hour and 45 minutes away to Roosevelt Lake. Um, we did find an RV park there to take the van for its first overnight. It might be kind of loud, we have the air conditioner on right now. We're packing up to go. We've asked our friends Ted and Candace to come with us. They're gonna come. Today's my birthday. Like, it's gonna be an amazing day. So we're gonna pack it up to just do one overnight, just to try everything out, make sure everything works. The air conditioner in Arizona, it's hot. It's gonna be 105 today. We definitely need that air conditioner to work. So yeah, it's our first trip. small issue with the van. We had to tape it. The window is not connected to the actual van. More on that later. But for now, we are heading out to go to Roosevelt Lake. Let's do this. Ted and Candace came to our house and we are all on our way together. I would love to say that we're escaping the heat, but we're not. Where we're going, it's still 100 degrees. But we're really hoping with this new van, the new air conditioner up top, we'll be okay. But we don't know yet, so we will see. It's actually gonna be a little bit cooler up there than it is down here. About 10 degrees, but it's about 109 here. It's about 100 up there. So it will be a little cooler, but <laughs> Still gonna be warm, but having the air conditioning and hopefully being up there where there's some trees, hopefully it'll be nice. Turn right. But we'll have to wait and see. So where we're going, we've never been. We, Bob and I have never even driven up here. And it's called Roosevelt Lake in Arizona. And when I called them yesterday, they said they only had one spot available. But we wanted to bring our friends, Ted and Candace, um, to celebrate my birthday and get away with them. So I asked the, the person there if we could have more than one vehicle on the site. So, you know, we have our van and they have um, their vehicle with their little, uh, what did we call it? A camp trailer. With their camp trailer. And so we asked, can we put all of that on one site? And they said yes, which is nice because we're gonna just split the price. The price of this RV spot, which it has hookups, is $45. So not a bad price, but we don't know the size of the spot. So we're a little um, apprehensive. I don't know, hoping that we all can fit on the spot comfortably but we won't know until we get there. We're about 17 miles out. We've been driving for around an hour and a half. And Bob, how do you feel like this van has been handling the road conditions? Honestly, it's not that much different than our previous van. I will say there's a few new shakes and rattles in the back that we got to figure out what's going on with that. But all in all, it's not too bad. It's just, obviously it's a, quite a bit longer so the turning radius is different, but it's not too bad. It just takes a little getting used to. All right, we are here. Let me uh, show you guys our spot. So here's our little box with our electrical and water and stuff. Got this big wide open area so that uh, Ted can park his trailer. Apparently, I just kind of broke everything because Bob said- Oh, it's not even running, that's right. Yeah, the air's not even running. You reset the system on accident. I reset the system on accident because he said turn off the inverter. All right. What did I turn off? So, what did I do? 
So you had a good catch. Thank you. You noticed that the state of charge was 34%. Yes. That's because the inverter was on and we're running our batteries for the air conditioner. Okay. The 15 amp service does not work. So, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to the camper. <laughs> um, Can we switch ports? No, there's not long enough. You need 30 amp though. No, we need to plug into the 50. We need a dog bone to go from 50 to <gasps> 30. So we literally will have... We don't have one. So, so do we need to drive the van? We're not driving the van. To... to oh. <laughs> yeah, but you can't have it on all night. True. Okay, how do we charge that then? Oh, stay tuned. <laughs> I think I have a solution. We messed up. I messed up. No, everything's messed up. Well, you know, we'll keep so, you posted. Uh, your... I gotta go pee. Hey, what's going on? Is all our problems solved? No. We're at 20%. What, is, what was the solution? We plugged into the neighbor's power. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not sure if that's okay, but... We'll see. We, if we see them, we need to talk about it. Okay. And Ted, your problem solved? Uh, yes. Our cruise dilemma is solved. What uh, was the solution? So they moved our rooms all on the same floor. Two of the rooms are adjoining now. So apparently we can have minor children, even if they're one month from turning 21 mm -hmm. in that room. And they refunded us our money for yes. the room we paid more for initially. So it's a success. I mean, an hour and 13 minutes on the phone, I guess was worth it. Yeah. He got his $200 back. So all the problems are solved for now. Now we just need to get in some good, cool air. Yeah. Now we're going to go hop in their vehicle so that we can be in the air conditioner. And apparently there, there's a dam here. The Roosevelt Dam. Very Roosevelt famous. Dam. We're Very going to go see too. the damn dam. <laughs> our first trip with our Talaro 20A, going from the 18T Thor Rise to this. There's some learning curves. Definitely. Now we're going to hop in our friend's car, go check out that dam and whatever else we can find. Get ready for the dam jokes, they're coming. Well, this dam map is not working. <laughs> Stay on the damn road, Ted. <laughs> that doesn't work because we're nowhere near the dam. Where are yet. all the damn people? <laughs> video we're okay. And now I have to go get in that car. He's going way too fast for this road just so everybody knows. Really? Hey, how's the dust? <laughs> Amazing. I think we should not be on this road. In front of you. It's very steep and there's a cow. You're never getting back down. <laughs> oh my god. So you the left a little bit so you can scratch. Some hairs and Bro. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I gotta get out. 
I gotta get out. No, really. Are you really gonna okay. panic? No. I'm panicking. No. I'm panicking. Hillary, it's okay. Next okay. no. much. Look at him go. You're gonna, you're gonna end up. He's, oh. he's wondering what we're doing. <laughs> Candace, this is not a funny moment. Oh. I can't. I will be walking back down. No. I will not be in this car this going down. Sad. I gotta get out. Oh, no. Nope. Do no, no, not. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you can get out. Get out. I mean, what are we gonna do? We're, gonna we're do stuck. <laughs> no, we're we're literally <laughs> stuck. <laughs> what are Hillary. we gonna do? Hillary. Hillary. It's, it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Hey, can I just say happy birthday? <laughs> That's a pretty good road over there. We should have probably gone that road. Dang yeah. it, guys. That should I get good. out? No, we're good. Are no, you no, gonna no, back no. up? No. I will video you guys flipping. <laughs> Hey, wait, That's are those cows gonna get me? <laughs> Probably. Just, just tell them to move. <laughs> I'll just, I'm gonna go up here and just turn did around. Did you hear Candace? I'm good. Okay, okay, should I just walk behind you? No. No, just get in the car. I can't get in. You should get in the car and buckle up. You're, you'll be safe. Do you see that? What do you think I'm I don't. Yeah, I would see. Here, I, it needs to be filmed. You're fine. I literally am scared to death of this. car was made to do this. I literally almost died because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was super fun. I beg to differ. I mean, you did almost pee your pants, but it's fine. We made it, and that is what matters. I would never do that again. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, um, it's Hillary's birthday. Yep. So, upon her request, yep. we are doing um, chicken pesto pasta. Yep. So, we're boiling the pasta in our little camper. Yep. Uh, we're grilling the chicken down here on the grill. Yep. And we bought the pesto from Costco. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. we're adding some fri uh, some frozen veggies in the mix too. So it's chicken pasta pasta with veggies. And then in our van, we are doing the Caesar salad mm -hmm. and the bread. And I only the that's only dinner. And vino. And vino. <laughs> the only and metal utensil Moscato. I have is a knife. It's my birthday turn. glass of wine. Oh, I've got a. Uh, Here's what we're doing. We are gonna cook some noodles. And your van smells really good. It does. I Cloroxed everything because we had a chicken leak. <laughs> it smells really good. So Candace is doing the noodles and the pasta and the pesto. Yes. Right? So she's in here cooking that. And we do also need um, someone to do the veggies to put in it. Okay. Do you wanna do that in your van? Yeah, sure. We, 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 we got you a birthday slash second uh, van warming <laughs> present. <laughs> you have to open it up. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is it? It's a cheese grater. <laughs> it's wow. a big cheese grater. <laughs> Thank you. It's about time we finally have one. <laughs> if it were not for us, they would still be using the tiny, tiny one. The yeah. really bad one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, backstory. Go to our... Part two, Sedona video, and you'll find out why. They just gifted us with a really big cheese grater. Thank you, guys. I think you should use that big saucepan to combine everything together, or? I think, Chef Bob. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Final product, looks amazing. Any words? Oh. I just spilled it. <laughs> uh, it looks amazing. Smells amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. This looks amazing. It looks it so good. I don't know. Nobody... Oh, it's right here, Bob. Okay. Okay. That's yours, Bob. Candace, Ted, you guys did amazing. Ooh, Thank you. Ted, it looks right so sunset. good. It's yep. Perfect timing. Perfect wow. timing. Excellent. We made it. We made it. We're gonna enjoy this amazing meal. Dinner was so good. Finish my plate. How was it, Ted? Um, amazing. I just went back for seconds. It might have been thirds. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. I finished mine. Mm. You can't see me, it's completely dark. Sunset is happening. It was an amazing meal. Hello, I have a thorn in my sock. <laughs> That's I, weird, you're the thorn I've in my I've been trying sock. to get it out of my sock. <laughs> Whoa, that felt hot. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that, that's never making it in. You can edit the video. Ready guys? Oh wait, what are we gonna sing? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> normally on a birthday, <laughs> there's a song we sing. sing there's right? a lot of Should different options. She awesome. or she's a jolly good feller. <laughs> no, no, not an fella. option. No. <laughs> what, what is female for sing? fella? Uh, feller? That was nope. so funny. Okay. What are we gonna sing? <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you guys. Party. Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna enjoy the cake and continue playing our card game. Yes, we are. The boys are winning right now. We're playing space. Yes, we are. Just for now. Yeah. Go boys. Get ready to lose. It's true. We have to let her win. It, it is, is my birthday. Okay. No. Um, hey. uh, See you guys in the morning. Mm, yeah. That Good morning. I am up and at him this morning, way before Bob. It's about 6.30 a.m. And I'm going to make us some coffee. 
I slept okay last night. It's, you know, the first night we've ever slept in this van. So it was not my best sleep, but it was okay. It's definitely different having an actual bathroom. That was nice. And yeah, so I am just gonna make some coffee and try to entice Bob with some coffee for him to get up. Okay, I have to come over here so you guys can hear me because the air conditioning conditioner is on. I will say having an air conditioner above your bed is a game changer. That is probably one of the number one reasons why I wanted to upgrade was the placement of the air conditioner and us being located in Arizona. I just thought it'd be really important to have an air conditioner above your bed. And it was a game changer. I loved it. I've slept in until 7.30, which is probably the latest I've slept in in, in in the last... Years. Months. Years. I don't know. It's been so long since I've even slept in at all. Yeah. But, truthfully, he would still be asleep. I woke him up. Because I was like, our friends are up. Come on. It's coffee time. It's time for it's coffee. Nice bug. How did you sleep, Bob? I slept quite good, actually. Did you? Yeah. Did you, uh, yeah, you fell right to sleep. I had no issues. He had no issues. I had a hard time falling asleep, but it's our first night. Oh. Like, how nice is this? This is beautiful. Bob, you slept in. I don't think I've ever seen you do that before. Ever? Not after seven? So we're gonna do one of our classic skillets for breakfast. We're gonna do some potatoes with some eggs, uh, some bell pepper, onions, what else we put in there? Some sausage this time? Yep, yep. So we're gonna just mix it all up in the skillet. Yep, we're just pulling things from both of our fridges. Candace and Ted have turkey and eggs and some vegetables. We brought the hash browns, some more eggs, some more vegetables. We're gonna mix it all together, make us breakfast. And then we're gonna probably pack up and head out because it's already getting warm. So it's a little, a little warm in Arizona right now. I really do like this new kitchen setup. It's a little bigger. It faces the door so I can actually kind of see where we're at, what's going on. And we still have some storage back here, which just is really convenient. So just a really nice setup in this kitchen. And fruit salad. Candace, what do we got over here? We're making some fruit salad to go with breakfast. You're gonna get burned. I know, right there. <laughs> right there. Like a vampire. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. <laughs> Did you guys hang this over here? Yes. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? do the dishes in our new little kitchen. I wish when I did this, okay. it was done. <laughs> but let's try that. Now time to tackle the bed. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five. City light. Hey, darling, we could get out. That's a wrap on our first trip in our new Tolaro 20A. It was a super fun trip. We definitely learned a lot on this trip with how the inverter works, the awning, just lots of fun new stuff in this van versus our old one. And 
just really glad that we made the choice to get this. Yeah, it's, we've had a few a few bumps. A few bumps along the road, but you know, that's, that's, life. that's, that's life. We just learned and uh, we'll yeah. be better, so. Yep. So that about wraps up this trip. Thanks guys for watching and coming along with us on this trip. Uh oh, things are falling. We definitely don't have everything put together the way we need it yet. It's still pretty loud. But um, yeah, thanks for watching today and stay tuned. We're gonna do a full van tour coming up and so much is coming. But until next time, bye guys. Bye. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty